Uh, we're here in the ambulance bay, and we're talking about a proposed fire station and plans. I wanted to talk to you a little bit about your needs specifically here in the ambulance bay. Talk to me a little bit about your needs specifically. Yeah, as here in Hyannis, um, not only do we do firefighting, we do ambulance work also, which we call emergency medical services. The station that we're currently in was never designed for that purpose. It kind of evolved over the years, and, and we incorporated ambulance work into one of our functions. Um, currently, we're running three ambulances, um, averaging about 18 calls a day. And uh, they're extremely busy, and a lot of the station isn't equipped to deal with a lot of the work we're doing on the ambulance side. Um, for instance, uh, clean and dirty, there's no separation. We have uh, currently, when we have contaminated equipment that we have to bring back to the station, we're cleaning it behind the ambulance, um, in the ambulance bay. And uh, that is also the main pathway to the living quarters for the personnel. So in the new facility, there would be spaces to incorporate the dirty room so where we can decon not only equipment, but personnel too, if, we, if need be. And then we'll also have um, another room, the separate room for the clean equipment, and then another third room for storage of ambulance supplies, which currently are unsecure. I was just going to talk about that. You have ambulance supplies right here in the ambulance bay. You have a garage door opening right here. It really doesn't allow for a lot of security there. No, not only that, um, it's difficult to keep track of inventory, too, because as supplies are needed, they're going to the shelves. And it's, it's tough to control inventory. There's no security in, the, in, the, in a new facility. This would be in a secure room. So right now, um, it's literally five feet from the garage door. So anybody passing through the parking lot uh, can see our inventory, which you know we're concerned about. One thing I noticed uh, to standing here now, right now specifically while we're standing here, you actually have a couple ambulances out, but you fit how many ambulances in this bay? This is a, actually, we have to back them in on angles. There's, there's two ambulances in this bay, and we have a, a third ambulance in, in, a, in the bay on the side of us. Um, so we have to be very particular in the way we, uh, we back these trucks in, and sometimes they're touching mirrors, literally. And it's not really meant for uh, that many ambulances, no. I don't think. <laughs> <laughs> no, this was originally one, one bay, and you know we were able, fortunate enough, where we can ang angle them in, but it is another concern we have. Uh, talk to me a little bit. One thing uh, I noticed is you have a, a gas pump out there to fuel your vehicles, and you actually right now have the uh, fuel storage underground right in front of this bay. So when you ever fill up for, you know, get, get a gas fill up, it really puts this bay out of service for it, some time. It does, and sometimes getting fuel deliveries too. If, if we're not uh, um, cognitive of whoever's doing the delivery, sometimes we have to make a move their vehicle or their fill truck just to get out the door. Um, when we're pulling the large apparatus around, the fire trucks around, sometimes we're blocking these doors, and, and it's been many times where we've had to interrupt their refilling operations just to get an ambulance out the door. Yeah, uh, in the plans for the new building, you actually, uh, it, the new plans call for above ground fuel storage. Uh, you actually said earlier that that sa could save the fire department money. Explain how that works, how that could save the fire department money. Uh, yeah. It, um, the deputy would know more on it, but basically, um, when it's above ground, it's, it's, it's less regulations that we have to adhere to as when it's below ground. Um, there's, there's certain testing standards that you have to adhere to. And, um, you know, when, with our facilities now below ground, um, if anything goes wrong, we have to dig up, literally, in f this, it'll put this bay out of service. We'll have to dig up the ramp to in front of the ambulance bay, and, and uh, that's a concern for us. Yeah, pretty hard to uh, do that when this is such an active bay. <laughs> um, definitely want to talk a little bit more about uh, some areas, like you said, uh, don't necessarily meet code. So one thing you're really trying to do with the new building is to bring everything up to up to code. Yeah, we, we, we are, um, as the chief has said many times, the only thing we haven't had to really mess with in the station is the brick. Everything else we've had to either replace or repair. Um, we're due, just the electrical service coming in was, was due to be replaced um, several years ago. We're supposed to be replacing all the panels. Um, we're having problems with all the HVAC units, the, the um, companies in here on a daily basis trying to maintain them. We have raw sewage that uh, 
um, three times in the past couple of months has been backing up in the downstairs kitchen, the living quarters downstairs. Um, so there's a number of issues that we're dealing with. Um, we, you know, every we can get into every little thing from carpet to windows that need to replace in this facility, and uh, um, you know we're trying to save taxpayers money by putting that off if we know we can get a new facility. Um, we don't want to spend money unnecessarily if we can get this project through. Uh, one thing you guys have said in the past too is you are actually offering residents to come and take a tour. You guys are willing to meet with residents anytime and, and really show them firsthand what the need is and where that need is. Absolutely. We actually encourage, we're encouraging the voters and the, and the Hyannis residents to come in, take a look at the station. It's been, those who have had the tours, it's been a real eye-opener for them. And it gives us a chance to explain everything we do here, some of the obstacles that we're dealing with in this facility. And so we strongly encourage anyone out there who wants to come in um, and tour the facility, please do. We'd be happy to show them around. Great. Thank you so much. I really appreciate Thank it. You. EMS Supervisor Michael Medeiros was my guest this morning and telling us about the need for a new Hyannis fire station.